Hello everyone and welcome to another amazing RF video shoot that the world has been waiting for. The first one ever hosted by me, Tommy Dreamer. <laughs> Why? Because my beautiful guest, she asked for it. <laughs> what the world is waiting for, the very controversial, the dirt, the sex, the drugs, the rock and roll. Not really. <laughs> the Barbie Blank, a.k.a. Kelly Kelly, the beautiful, my best buddy in the world. There she is. <laughs> We're gonna get down to the nitty gritty. Kelly, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Yeah. You look, and I was like, what? <laughs> like, well, what do we do? Like, do we need a car? It's like, you two are moving. <laughs> we to, were 19, granted. You're moving Never to lived OVW. On our own. You're moving to Louisville, Kentucky. It is not my responsibility <laughs> to get you guys housing and a car. <laughs> You're like, well, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> I was talking to children. And. <laughs> Um, and I always loved uh, Stone Cold. He was my favorite. I had like a bunch of his shirts. I was just in love with him. Still am. He's the best. Um, so here you are, mm -hmm. 19 years old, not in your developmental system. You get called up. I do remember because Paul. Yeah, well, Paul and we called needed me. girls. Yeah, and he called me and he was like, "Do you have any dance experience?" <laughs> I was like, "Paul, to be honest, no. I have no rhythm. I was a gymnast. I am not a dancer." And he's like, "It's okay." We'll figure it out. You're hot. I was like, all right. That's so I didn't really deal with, with Hunter on that on the level that I think he um, is working with talent now. Um, but he was always nice. I mean. What about Steph? She was always nice. Always approachable. Made, like, she wanted to make sure, too, with the women. Like, I remember I had to do a storyline with Randy on TV, and they wanted him to say these things. And I went to Stephanie. I was like, look, I'm not comfortable with him saying that stuff on TV. I don't. It just doesn't make um, me Um... I'd have to say Beth Phoenix. Phoenix. Because when we, when me and her started wrestling together, I had been there for a few years. I felt like I, you know, was confident enough to kind of, you know, show what I had. And Beth, I felt like, was the best one to bring it out of me. I turn around. I turn into it. He winds that thing back. Like, I can, I'm seeing it. I'm like, oh, my God, this is going to be so bad. So he winds it back and just lets me have it and I swear to God like my mom even told me she was like you made that face right before you're gonna cry as soon as he hit you and you went down like the time you broke your tailbone yes yeah, she was like and she was like I thought you like Caitlin she was she was in NXT with Naomi answer my questions don't put your hands on me ow did uh my stubble that hurt I know get it together uh like um, so Brie had to remember three different matches because it was me, Eve, or, and Beth. And um, I remember they were like, okay, whoever gets chosen is winning. So, and of course, they don't let you know, right? Yeah. So they call my name and I'm like, oh my God. So I just, I instantly was like, okay, just go out there. And I had these, I had so many emotions. And when I had won and I find, because I feel like it was such a long time coming for me. And like, you know, you had girls like Fox and Maurice and all these other girls who came in and got the belt within a year that, of being there, you know? And with me, I, I don't, I feel like maybe they were waiting for that just to, I mean, just because I was the underdog for so long. And they, I think they wanted to wait for that moment to where it oh, yeah, gets. I love doing that. As you would get up super high for it and, bam, 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 and you'd yeah. go like that with yeah. your face. <laughs> I always loved selling. I always loved to sell and to, you know, cry and because I just knew. I knew how to get them. And that's what I loved. You could like, be like, like the female me because I used to cry a lot and I'd sell. Wow. I really am your mentor. <laughs> you are. <laughs> I um, thought you basically left. Well, here's the thing. Let's um, clear up the controversy. Let's clear it up. Because that's why we're here. Um, Back in, I think, May of 2012, I um, I had went to Johnny because I i have been on the road six years straight. I'd never been hurt. I was on the road, you know, every weekend house shows, never a time off. So I was, it was a lot. And I was just like... Undertaker. Bong. Um. Bong. I just remember, like, with Michelle, he was, um, I had just... He was always so sweet to her, and like he was always so sweet to the women. Like he was always very respectable, very nice. Um, and I talked Fit to Fit Finley. Fit is amazing. Um, he's just the best. Like he, um, when he came in, and he was because I think he left for a while, uh, and then he came back in to to mentor the girls or be the girls' agent. He just knows psychology so well and the women like he just knows how to make great women matches and put them together and and bring out the best. And every girl, you know, um, and I remember Paul had gotten out of the meeting and he was like, Kelly, 
You're not on the show tonight. And I was like, what? I, I remember this. Yes. You had I so many a, tickets. I had 30 people. <laughs> Like legit, I mean maybe more, because I was like, all my family's like, yeah, you're so you're gonna be on. Like you've always been on, you wouldn't not be on, right? And I'm like, no. So he's like, <laughs> pulls me aside, like it's super serious. Like he gets, you know, he's like, Kelly, um, you're not gonna be on the show tonight. And I was like, what? And I like was like w threw this big fit, and I was like throwing out anything I could. I'm like, look, just let me do something. I don't care. Um. When they told me we were gonna do that, I was like, finally, uh, you know. That was your first WrestleMania. Well, no, I had done. We had done Battle Royals. We had done Lumberjills. We had done, but that like having a tag. Represented yeah, match on. Yeah, that was pretty exciting, and um, you know, having Maria there was fun too, because I was like able to kind of like we did little tag team things, and she got like she, she had been training, so she you know, and she wanted to do all this stuff, and um, Bill was like, well, we don't have time to do a lot of stuff, so. Um, so we're in Buffalo, uh, Beth wasn't going to win that night, and I remember talking to her and just being like, look, you know, it, it's, I just know this crowd, and like, it's going <laughs> to, just, just, you know, brace yourself, because they're going to boo the, you know. So when I was talking to everyone, you know, backstage, and they're like, look, you know, it's pro-Beth, it's pro-Beth, like, just, just ignore it, blah, blah, blah. Exactly. And it's, like, no, no time, time has passed, yeah. we'll catch up, mm -hmm. like, hey, how's, you know, the life, Damn. blah, blah, yeah. blah. But that's the good part about the business, but that's also the good part of real friends. Do you have any regrets? <clears throat> um, I do not. I feel like everything that I did was meant to happen, and 